Hello and welcome to this episode in the ClearPass workshop series where we will build a ClearPass deployment from scratch and integrate with Wired Wireless Active Directory and much more. In this episode, we are moving the LDAP connection that's running between our ClearPass server and the AD. Uh, we are protecting that with uh, SSL, so we're moving to LDAP-S. So what do we do, we do in a uh, previous episode? So um, what we did do here in the authentication source, we created our AD server. And as you can see, it's running uh, on port 389 with no connection security. And to turn it on, um, by now it's very simple, uh, but I will show you the prerequisites uh, later on. We go into the uh, primary here and then we change it to AD over SSL, which um, will change the port to port 636. And what we can do now here is uh, check if we can still browse the system. So that's good. So basically, this is what's needed to swap it to uh, LDAP S. Um, then let's see if it still works. So because we uh, changed uh, stuff, so uh, let's see away this client. And let's see away the other one as well. So you can see the first client is coming back and uh, here we still have access to the AD attribute. So that's very good. So few things that I had to do. Um, let me show you the required steps. So uh, I had to make sure that the AD server has uh, an SSL service certificate installed. And if it has, it's automatically uh, doing LDAP S. Then uh, we had to install the uh, certificate authority that issued the uh, AD certificate so we can validate the certificate and we had to enable the AD over SSL. So let's show you those steps. So first here under administration, we have the trust list and this is where we store all the certificates. And I added here the Aruba Lab Workshop CA, which is the Microsoft Certificate Services CA that I set up in my lab also to deploy client certificates and also to issue the radio certificates. So we have a enterprise certificate authority that we use for authentication and the LDAP on the AD is also using that certificate. Um, we can see the certificate. So this is on the domain controller here in the certificates for the local computer, the personal certificates we can see. There are a few certificates here. And uh, from this link on the L on the Microsoft blocks, you can see that it will just pick the first server authentication certificate and use that to you to do the uh, LDAP S authentication. So this will automatically uh, enable SSL for LDAP. And um, if we have the trust list enabled, then uh, yeah, what we just did here in the authentication sources. We switch to AD over SSL to the port 636, and then we do a validate server certificate. So this is basically it. Um, if you have some issues, what is a very nice tool um, also to do all kinds of other LDAP stuff is uh, Softera LDAP browser. I can really recommend that. So um, yeah, from here you can walk through your uh through your ad and uh yeah just see everything that's in the ldap it also will help you if you need to make uh, special ldap queries for example so you can test them here in this uh, very nice tool so that's it basically just make sure the root ca is installed on the clearpath server and in the authentication source the ldap connection we selected AD over SSL. And um, after that, all communication between the ClearPass server and the AD, which may be just in your data center, but still many customers have a requirement to uh, have this AD traffic, that LDAP traffic running over SSL. Uh, just by setting that setting, um, you make sure that all the communication is well protected. I hope you like this video. Please let us know. 
put your comments below this video. And if you subscribe to the channel, you will be the first to know when there are new episodes on this fabulous channel. Thank you very much for watching.